What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. DMZ missions are what we do over here. We're busy working our way through all of the different factions, but today we're looking at a mission called Perfection, which is for the Black Mouse faction and within the tier two selection. Now this mission seems relatively straightforward having only one objective, but this objective is basically to complete a raid weapon stash contract without taking any body damage. What they mean by taking any body damage is you can take damage that depletes your shield plates, but as soon as all three of your plates are depleted and you actually take physical health damage, then you will automatically not be able to succeed in this mission. Now, for me, this worked the best when I tried to do this on Al Majra. However, the method, I suppose, could potentially work on Ashika as well. Now, the bottom line here is that how these raid weapon stash contracts work is essentially you will notice that they usually are nearby or near adjacent to a stronghold. And that's because when you actually attempt to take this contract, then what it does is that within the strongholds, there will be a big weapons case, and this will be what you need to activate and then essentially wait for two minutes while the enemies try to get you and kill you. And as soon as that has been successful, as soon as the time has passed and you're able to loot this box, then you will successfully complete this mission. A quick side note here, this mission is infinitely easier if you do it in a group simply due to the fact that you can activate the mission and then essentially hide somewhere in the house nearby waiting for the timer to take off while your teammates actually engage their enforcements, thereby never facing the risk of actually taking any damage and making it quite easy for you to pass it. However, this guide is for doing it solo. Now, even though the footage in the background didn't exactly turn out the way that I'm going to explain it, the gist of it is essentially the same. Find the raid weapon stash contract on the map and then locate the closest stronghold to it since this will most likely be the stronghold that the mission chooses when you activate it. Then go to the stronghold first and clear it out, also making sure that you have this big weapons case in there, which will definitely confirm that this is where the mission will take place. Now, as you approach the stronghold and clean it out, bear in mind that every door that you open up is going to be another angle for the enemies to come in and attack you. Some strongholds, you can abuse this by essentially finding a way to enter on a second balcony, like I'm doing in the footage in this video here, thereby basically making it impossible for the enemies to to get in to you because they can't go through the doors now there have been cases that i've seen that the enemies will sometimes cheese this and get through the doors and that's where the second part of this comes in basically you'll see that i have a shield with me now what you can do is you can simply park yourself off near to this weapons case using the shield as cover for anything that could potentially come in there and shoot you enemies if they have access to you will walk in will shoot will run around everything like that they'll go ape shit they'll throw out smoke grenades everything like that but through using the shield maybe practicing a little bit you should be able to shield yourself from any potential damage that you can take and as soon as the timer has ticked off you can simply access this case and that will complete the mission for you if you take damage after that that's fine now some bonus tips that i can give you here and what you will see in the footage here is i was actually even super lucky that this particular stronghold that i went into had a trip wire on the stairs now whether you know this or not, AI will never ever try to cross over a tripwire. They also won't an inadvertently walk into it. They will avoid it. Now, in this particular case, I was basically able to lock them downstairs because they wouldn't go by the tripwire. And the only door that I opened up was the door that was on a balcony, which they also couldn't gain access to. That is why I'm not getting shot at at all in this footage here. And like I said, even though they go ape shit with the smoke grenades, you know, that's just them wasting their own time. So this is by far the easiest setup for you to do as a solo and relatively easy to replicate considering that a lot of the times the strongholds spawn the same in different matches as well as the missions around them. It doesn't have to be in this, you know, Hafid port area or above Said city area where I did it. You could likely end up with a similar situation somewhere else. But in this particular case, I didn't even need the shield. So basically have the mission in the background there. And when you launch into an area, into a map you see whether you have a kind of a similar setup to this and anywhere on the map and then simply plan according go there and do it this way and you will find out that this mission is actually really really easy 
thanks for watching especially if you made it this far i like missions like this that basically seem like they could be impossible as a solo or at the very least super difficult as a solo and then you can find little ways of you know kind of like abusing the ai or the behavior in the game to essentially work in your benefit and finish it let me know how you did this mission and if it was as easy or as satisfying for you but as always just remember that it's important to me that you have a fantastic morning afternoon and evening wherever you are in the world and until next video, fucking cheers.